All right, Megan McCain makes Marjorie Taylor Greene's Holocaust remarks about Ilan Omar. And chaos ensues. I've not watched this clip yet. This should be incredibly interesting. I'm certain I'm not high enough for this shit. Green's main anti-Semitic comments. Are you surprised by this or are you surprised by the response to it? Um, I, I'm, I'm sort of surprised at the lack of, of response to Marjorie Taylor Greene by the Republican um, leadership because not only has she made... Be, be, be because I remember Republicans losing their minds calling Ilan Omar a fucking anti uh, an anti-Semite because she made a comment about APAC and the money that they pour into politics, which is exactly what they do. APAC is a political committee that takes money and pours it into politics. And APAC has a uh, lot of influence. Sanction. Thank you. I appreciate that. From the fucking 20 minutes ago in the show. It took you that long to think of it? I'd already moved on. Made anti-Semitic comments before. We've all talked about the Jewish laser beam comments. I mean, she's also just routinely targeted uh, marginalized communities and the representatives of those marginalized communities. Remember, even before she was a member of Congress in 2018, when you had Congresswomen Tlaib and Omar uh, elected to Congress, which uh, they were the first two Muslims um, represented uh, in Congress. I mean, that was a monumental um, moment. Moment, and she said uh, at that time, I believe that Muslim, uh, there was an is- Islamic invasion of our government. Once she became um, a-, a congresswoman, she harassed Representative Newman by uh, putting up a hate sign in front of her office targeting Representative Newman's um, trans daughter. She's stalked and been so aggressive to Congresswoman Ocasio Cortez. Uh, she targeted Congresswoman Cori Bush so much so that this congresswoman felt unsafe and had to move her office and then even her aides that was like the first week or two matter uh you know uh, uh, basically stalking and attacking uh congressman uh swalwell for wearing a mask and right. that went uh just unreported and so right. you know it's really speaking of which i would like to bring up that every single right winger for some reason thinks eric swalwell slept with a chinese spy that is not true The story was that Fang Fang slept with two Midwestern mayors and that she was a volunteer on Swalwell's campaign. Right-wingers kind of take those two things and conflate them together and then just lie because they're idiots. Really up to, I think, Republican leadership like Kevin McCarthy because at this point, Marjorie Taylor Greene is the face of the Republican Party and because it's a big tent party, she is welcome and uh, Liz Cheney is not. Right. So, Megan, I, I mean, yeah. have you... What, oh, Megan's what are upset. On this? Are you trying to figure out, like I think I am, why there is no one saying, hey, why her own party isn't dragging her in, saying, listen, you can't do this? Well, I mean, I, I can't stand Marjorie Taylor Greene. I think she's a crazy person. I've said that over and over again. But she has been stripped of... Aaron, I don't think you'd ever heard the phrase gain of function research, and I don't think you have the intellectual capacity to actually understand what it is or what anybody is talking about. I think you've been lied to by right wing propaganda, and you're a complete fucking moron. Of her committee. She has absolutely no legislative power in Congress whatsoever, which juxtaposed when Ilhan Omar said that Jewish people had hypnotized the world and it was all about the Benjamins. She's still on the floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's it get? APAC, APAC, APAC. Not Jewish people. McCain is lying whatsoever, which juxtaposed when Ilhan Omar said that Jewish people had hypnotized the world and it was all about the Benjamins. She's still on the Foreign Relations Committee and she's able to dictate as well she should be in the United States of America. So what do you expect mm-hmm. Republicans to do? I think that's taking a lot more action against a crazy person uh, than I would say the Democrats are doing on the left. I'm confused 
what has risen this to a hot topic this week? Because last week, as I brought up on Friday, there's a huge rise in anti-Semitic attacks against Jewish people globally and in our own country. Uh, in Los Angeles, a group of pro-Palestine anti-Semites showed up to a sushi restaurant and said who was Jewish here and then began, began attacking people at that restaurant. In New York City, as I mentioned on Friday, a Jewish man wearing a kippah was beaten up in Times Square. A pipe bomb was set off in the uh, Jewish Diamond District. Uh, in Italy, hundreds of neo-Nazis were marching in... Dude, I don't know what you mean about invite. You can go in my Discord right now. You can call in right now. The fuck invite? The left is very split. You're you're exactly right. Most of the Democratic Party is not in the right place on this issue. Uh, I have not watched that yet. I've been uh, very much looking forward to it. Thank you for bringing it up, Fury. And giving the Hitler salute in Toronto, a pro-Palestinian demonstrator lynched an elderly Jewish man and a sexually assaulted Jewish woman. In London, pro-Palestinian demonstrators went down the street and scre- screamed, "Death to Jews!" Blank their mothers, rape their daughters. This was all happening last week. And in Israel, we watched fucking uh, groups of Jewish people chanting at Palestinians and destroying ice cream shops and shit. I would love if the energy that is being put on one crazy woman in Congress, and by the way, if if she is the face of the Republicans, then the squad is the face of the Democrats. I would love Democrats to put that same type of energy onto what's happening on the left, because quite frankly... That's a false equivalency. I wish the squad were the face of the fucking Democrats. Now, maybe in the future, maybe within 10 years, they absolutely will be. But at this moment in time, they are not, ma'am. But Marjorie Taylor Greene absolutely represents the center of the Republican Party. Their actual views. It's undeniable. This is how people get red-pilled. They're red-pilled when they see the blatant bias in the media. It's because the media doesn't want the squad to look bad. They just want Marjorie Taylor to look bad. <sighs> Anti-Semitism is a huge problem everywhere in this country. When you but talk- notice, notice, she talks about the bias. But she never once had a whole fucking spill about how bad Marjorie Taylor Greene is. She didn't cry and evoke uh, uh, Joe Lieberman's name. Over Marjorie Taylor Greene. About Holocaust survivors. Yes, it is. My producer yes. who produces me yes, every day. It, it, grandparents we're going to break, and when we come back, you can continue Why talking. But now off? we're going to break, so we'll be right back. I'm cutting you off because we have to go, Megan. Why do you think I'm cutting? I mean, and let's be clear, Megan is playing a character. She's not actually like that. I hope. God, I hope. I, nobody could be that obnoxious, right? And, and totally not self-aware. She's playing a... She's there to create conflict on the show because the only reason the show is even relevant is because they argue with Meghan McCain. That's the facts. But now I want to bring up just the, the sheer hypocrisy of Meghan McCain because let's, let's travel back in time to March of 2019. This issue is a really intense one for me, and, and just bear with me, because I know, Sonny, you and I in particular don't always agree. We're talking about Ilan Omar here. Foremost, Anti-Semitism shouldn't be a left or right issue. It, I don't think we should be politicizing it on either side, because as we know, if it's a Tiki Torch person in Charlottesville saying Jews will not replace us, or if it's the, right. we had Barry Weiss on to talk about sort of these uh, the good s- summation. You know, dog whistle moments that in my my view, Ilhan Omar is doing, and she, uh, as of Saturday, hadn't been able to go on, have gone 15 days without saying something anti-Semitic. What's interesting about this is that she is an up-and-coming rising star in the Democratic Party. She's on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine right now. I mean, just look look at the framing. Look at the way she just completely dismisses this one. Marjorie Taylor Greene is just one crazy woman in the Republican Party. I'm not going to take her to task. She fits a lot of boxes that Democrats like. She is the first Somali elected member of Congress. She's the first woman, uh, or excuse me, first of she two. She fits a lot of boxes that Republicans Congress, like to she's attack. The first minority woman to serve from Minnesota. And the problem is right now is there's pressure to support her within the Democratic Party because identity politics and pressure to support her because she's actually a pretty good politician. Democrats. Mm-hmm. And I think this at this specific moment, this is a watershed moment for Democrats. 
a lot of Jewish people in this country, I think, are being asked, with the rise of anti-Semitism in this country, is it more important to defend... I hope, I hope you're correct on that one, Fury. And we can have conversations all day long about how you feel you about object Israeli it. politics. Yes, excuse me, if you object to it. Mm -hmm. We can have a conversation all day long about how you feel about Palestinian... I mean, politics, Israel's done a pretty good job of doing it. How you feel about Netanyahu, but... In the same way that I fear what's happening with Corbin, and, and that's okay, that's a sad part. Is I'm not exactly sure if you're talking about the U.S. or if you're talking about Israel. As I said that, I'm like, wait, he could have been talking about Israel. <laughs> I don't know. Seeping its way over here in the yes. United States, yes. And I just present this question, which may be an uncomfortable one: If what Ilhan Omar has been saying for the past few weeks were said by a white Republican male. What? How would you be reacting to it right now? You wouldn't give a shit. Well, white Republican woman, but you wouldn't give a shit at all, clearly, and you would make excuses for her. That's 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 what would happen. I mean, for me, um, I I'm a, I, object, I object to it, no matter who says it. I, I meant I'm asking the proverbial oh, I, I, question. The other thing that. Why are they always concentrating on Israel is what I want to know. There's a little tiny place apart in the world. I mean, she's from... Well, uh, she w w the people on the right, they want to conflate Zionism and with and Libya, the Jewish Syria, people. All the hot spots all over the world. And yet, this seems to be the focus... In order to get the sympathy for the, the Jewish world, people the onto their cause here. of Zionism. Uh, uh, Israel, Israel, Israel. And uh, why? Uh, why that particular country? It's very suspicious to me. Can I say that I 100% agree with you on that? And I, I think that we should be talking about human rights violations globally everywhere. In Iran, gay people can be thrown off. Uh, Once again, like four, almost four billion of my dollars doesn't go to Iran. Human rights violations going around globally. And I agree with you. My question to Ilhan Omar is why specifically? Yeah, it, like I, 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 they are the literally why ethnically cleansing a country. Just putting a plus, they're doing it with our tax dollars. Poster. She is on... Um, to answer the Alan Dershowitz and his uh, Abed, they're doing it with our tax dollars. Globally ...with our diplomacy. I'm uncomfortable with that in the same way that I was uncomfortable with Steve King being on that Well, as well to well. your question, Joy, yeah. um, I think we should talk about the But she didn't give a that, shit that, about Marjorie that, Taylor Greene. Unless I'm... I mean, it's possible that before that clip, I missed her condemning Marjorie Taylor Greene. But what we watched, that four-minute segment, like, she just made excuses for her. And said she doesn't. She wasn't actually representative of the party. Now I'm not sure. I thought this was the one, uh, the clip where she cried and a vote to Joe Lieberman, and she's like, "I was really close to Joe Lieberman, and this means a lot to me." But it might not be this clip, and I'm kind of bored.